What's up my dragons? I'm April, welcome back to my channel. So I've been missing in action for a while. My hard drive went out on my computer. I had to send it in and get it fixed. It took a couple weeks and then I got the flu. So it's been a lot of fun. I've been having a great time this, this year. Not really, it's, it sucked a lot. But um, I'm still at 100%, but I am much better now and I wanted to film some stuff and you know get back into it and I figured let's pop back into Undertale and wrap this little gem up if we can do that. Um, I love this game. It's so much fun and um, again like Delta Rune just came out which I've seen some sneak peeks to that and um, you know it's, it's it looks pretty interesting so let's finish Undertale. Yay! Oh wait, I have something else to say too. So, when my hard drive went out, I lost all of my Steam games. So all my progress, you know, in my game. So I had to actually replay this up until this point. So, I think we're caught up. I just did that last night. Which is just another, like, infuriating thing that happens. So back up your Steam games, people. Back them up. Back up. Back them up. Back your computer up. Don't forget to do that. Okay. Sorry, I'm just like waiting for something to go wrong. I have trouble with my graphics card drivers and everything. I don't know. I don't know. But let's just... <sighs> stay alive, computer. Just stay alive. Stay alive! Sorry. Okay. I am in my room right now. You know, if you can see my gecko in the background. He may pop up and make an appearance. I also have a bearded dragon in here too. She's over there. She's sun tanning. But, um, this little guy behind me, his name is Kuomori. And if you know where Kuomori, where that name came from, write it in the comments below. Alright, let's go. Snowden doghouse. Okay. Alright, you're recording. Okay. Okay. Alright. Hello. Okay. So, who's this? That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. Oh, I can relate to that. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. I can also relate to that, yeah. Aww, okay, okay, okay. Oh, that looks like ice. And I'm looking, it's one of these. Let's take a look. If we slide down to the bottom, then the top, and then left, and then down, and down, and down, down. Maybe. Let's try it. Stop! Will we get off now, or do we have to just go straight down? I'll just get off, and I'll go down here. Okay, so if we go to the right and we go down, left, that may work. Down. Over. Up. I just had to redo all these. Do I go straight over? That looks good. I had to redo all the puzzles last night. I'd forgotten already about what. Yay! I forgot how hard they were. I, you know, I completely forgot. <clears throat> or like how to fight the dogs and the different things. It's been a while. Like use the stick on dog, dog, dogami and dogaressa or whatever and. What's up? Walls, little sparkles. 
Eyes? Oh, he's back! Are you lost? Uh, okay, what's my life? Okay, Gift Trot confronts you. Gift, Gift, Gift Trot. Gift Trot. Check. Undecorate. Undecorate. Decorate. Gift. <clears throat> well, it looks like he's decorated, so undecorate him. You remove the box of non dog related raisins. What? You remove the box of non dog related raisins. That's a little better. Okay. Why? Oh. Lucky. Gift Trot is slightly less irritated. All right, so we just undecorate him. <clears throat> you remove a childhood photograph of Snowdrake and his parents. That's a little better. Okay, watch out for the blue one. Okay, is this gonna be blue? No! Gift Trot is slightly less irritated. Think we can spare him? Oh wait, what happened? Oh, I acted again. Should I give him a gift? Or do I undecorate him more? You remove the lenticular bookmark of a smug teen winking. A weight has been lifted. Gift Trot's problems have been taken away. Yay! I also found that it was a lot easier to like, when you, well, I mean, <clears throat> I don't know where I am. What I was going to say is that I didn't realize before that you can actually flee an enemy. I didn't realize that before. I was always trying to fight. What is this? Oh, I love the music. It's a door. It's a door. Where is this? Secrets. <gasps> okay, maybe this is a puzzle. Okay, now does it open? It's a door. <clears throat> I'm just checking it out. Is there anything to do? It's a door. Okay, I don't know where we're at. I love that music. Let's just hop, just, let's just let me see something. Just double check, I have no idea. Nope. I mean, I'm sure it's just a door. It's still just a door. It's still just a door. I was just looking. The mushrooms made such a little cute sound. Eep! 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 Oh. That's not gonna let me walk off. Oh, the little house down there! With the little this chimney! <clears throat> I was like gonna walk around the corner like, a, like in a Mario Odyssey. I felt like, oh, I can walk around the corner. Of course you can't. Alright, that was a dead end. these people. What a tiny doghouse. Is this anything? Woof! Alright. I just kind of want to race. Oh, it was a dog! I just want to race because I don't want to fight people <laughs> like to have them. Oh my goodness! He's adorable! It's the greater dog. Okay, so we, lesser dog. We fought. Lesser dog, it was super easy. It's the greater dog. Check, beckon, ignore, pet, play. Last time I pet, <clears throat> I pet the lesser dog. Okay, he's not excited enough to play with. Oh, how cute! Greater dog is watching you intently. Becca, you call the greater dog. It bounced towards you, flecking slobber into your face. Oh dear, oh. Greater dog is seeking affection. Perfect, act, pet. Greater dog crawls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited! <laughs> Greater dog is patting the ground with its front paws. Greater dog, so let's play. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. 
it splats on the ground. Greater Dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now Dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Oh, that sucked. Greater Dog wants some TLC. We pet again. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Okay. Jiminy Cricket. Pet capacity is 40%. Greater dog. Let's pet again. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. Yay! The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Oh. Oh my gosh, Greater Dog is contented. Okay, spare. I need to eat something or save. If there was a save point, that would be great. Oh, he's little. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Ah, please be a save point. All right. I'm gonna use an, an ice cream. You look nice today. What happens if I call? Can I call Toriel? Nobody picked up. Aww. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold the gauntlet of terror! terror oh boy there's a dog on a rope when i say the word wait when i say the word it will fully activate cannons will fire spikes will swing blades will slice each part will swing violently up and down only the tiniest chance of victory will remain are you ready because i am about to do it holy moly can i just walk through well, what's the hold up? Hold up, what hold up? I'm about to activate it now. Should I just walk? I'm walking. That uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. I don't remember what the voices I used. And my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Oh, thank goodness. Can I walk? Phew! What was my... What are you... What are you looking at? This was another incisive victory for Papyrus. Sorry, I don't remember. I don't remember what voice I used for Sans or Papyrus. <clears throat> and I know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understood blue attacks. Okay. Can I please have a save point? Please, pretty please. Welcome to Snowden. All right, good. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Hey. What we got in here? There's nothing in the box, right? I was just double checking. Shop. Do I have any money? Oh, hello, traveler. How can I help you? What would you like to buy? Okay, so I'm guessing the tough glove and manly bandana, I'm guessing a manly bandana is probably uh, increasing my strength, or my defense, my defense, right? Oh, wait, here we go, weapon, five attack, slap them, armor, plus seven defense, it has abs on it, <laughs> cute, okay, what is this? Heals, 11 HP times two. Eat it twice. That would be good. That's better than the ice cream we've been going on. Heals, 22 HP. It's my own recipe. Okay, 
How much do I have? I have 106 gold. Is the manly bandana worth it? I wonder. Oh, I should look it up. Four. Okay, let's just go. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, I can talk to her. Say hello. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Okay, I totally just changed her voice because she said, Hiya. Where'd you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? History. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages. So unless you're a ghost or can bury burrow under the door, forget about it. Life is the same as usual, a little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Aw, oh, man. What do we do here? Let's see. You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them, brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Okay, we're gonna exit. Take your time, we're gonna exit. Bye-bye, bye now. Come again sometime. Ugh. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. What does the inn do? Welcome to Snowden Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80 gold. What does the town, what did that do, I wonder? I wonder what it does. Oh, I should look it up, see what it does. Should we look it up? I'm gonna look it up. Sorry, guys, I just wanna look it up. Should I sleep in the inn? I don't know what it does. I'm such a horrible person, Undertale, sleep in. That's what I was thinking. Increase your HP above the normal limit. I have enough, right? I'm gonna say, I don't know, I just felt like saying, you don't even have any gold. Oh, I don't? Oh, you poor thing. I can only imagine what you've been through. One of the rooms upstairs is empty. You can sleep there for free, okay? What? <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna touch anything. Oh my God, this is hilarious. I don't want to move because last time I slept in my bed in Toriel's house, it automatically woke me up and gave me a piece of pie. Hiya! You look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. <laughs> Feel free to come back if you get tired. Oh, that's wonderful. That's awesome. Okay, let's just uh, let's just take a look. Is there any possible way I want to see stats? <gasps> Yay! My HP is 30 of 20. And it was free. 
Oh, I didn't have 80 gold. Oh, I thought I did have 80 gold. And 76 gold. Oh, see, I really thought I had 80. Yeah, I don't know. I forgot. Wait, how do I, how do I get out of this? X? Forgot. Town. Oh my gosh. And that was a warp. That just warped me past everything. What is this? Whose house is this? It's locked. What is this? This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside? Yes, it's empty. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. Okay, now I'm backtracking. Library! We're gonna explore the town and then we'll stop. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. I didn't even see the sign. Okay. The look in your eye. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Oh, that's cute. Cough, <coughs> cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time, but look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. Oh, but the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Whoa. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans with their physical forms are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on it, live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the cr crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill, uh, let's end the chapter here. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of the old city, our, our old home. We braved harsh cold, damp swamp lands, searing heat, until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. It's the same, yeah, okay. Wow, that was lovely. That was so cool. Okay, stop. Wow. We didn't go up. Wait, let's see. I missed everything. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Oh my gosh. Okay, these are dog rasa. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. 
Rilby has said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Can I talk to everyone? It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes the statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Oh my goodness. Who is this, um, crazy looking... Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and hot guys! Oh my gosh. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. The jukebox is broken. How cute. Who's he? This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. <laughs> Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So he started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee! And then we're back to where we were. That lady over there, something about her disturbs me. Okay, all right. Wait. I don't think I, uh... Okay, yeah, I don't think I even collected anything else. Only because I talk to people, though. Okay, let's hop over here. And... Wait, I just saw something. I just saw something up. My bad, I skipped it. Let's see what's up here. What is that? Wait, what is that? Let's play Monsters and Humans. What? What's that? A rock with a mustache? Ah, uh, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Uh oh. Ice blocks. Okay. Ring, ring. Hello? Can I speak to G? Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. Very, very sorry. We got it wrong. Oh my god. What the heck? The wrong number song. Okay. Why doesn't it surprise me? Okay, that's Papyrus's home. It's the shed. It's locked from the inside. Where are we walking to? I don't know. I just realized that they... Oh, it's Papyrus. Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another past lover. What? 
I didn't read it right. The admiration for another's puzzle. Puzzle solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No! No! This is all wrong! I can't be your friend! You are a human! I must capture you! Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream! Powerful! Popular! Prestigious! That's Papyrus! The newest member of the Royal Guard! Way. But you know what? Look, I have 30. I have 30 HP. Yay! Okay, what do we do? Act. Let's check. Papyrus. Attack 20, defense 20. He likes to say, Nehehe! Nehehe! Okay, what are you gonna do? We'll look for his blue, the blue bone attack. Okay, that's safe. Okay, Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Let's flirt. What? Flirty? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings! Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards! I can make spaghetti or have zero redeeming qualities. I can make spaghetti! Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you! Let's date later, after I capture you. Oh dear. I'm concerned, I'm concerned, I'm concerned. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Uh, let's flirt again. Oh no! Let's date later, after I capture you! Okay. Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. Let's flirt again. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Acting won't escalate the battle. Pap Papyrus stabs some bone cologne behind his ear. I don't want to insult him. That would be mean. Guess I'm supposed to. How selfless! You want me to feel better about fighting you. I don't deserve such hospitality from you. Okay. Papyrus dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. Okay, let's flirt. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting will escalate this battle. Do I have anything to give him? Papyrus stabs mint brown bishi cream behind his ear. Oh, MTT. MTT. I don't know. Oh, let's insult again. There's no need to lie to yourself. Your barbs hide a hidden affection. Your emotional cact. You emotional cactus? I said. Dabs MTT brand anime powder behind his ears. I'm gonna insult one more time. Don't! Don't waste your words on me! Cute juice behind his ear. I don't know. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. Attraction slime behind his ear. Okay, we're gonna... One, one more thing. What a flirt. I mean, I, I can't, like, mercy, can I? You won't fight. Then let's see if you can handle my fable blue attack. Okay. I sh oh, it's awesome. I love it. How cute. Oh, 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 no. You're blue now. That's 
accept my attack. <laughs> You're blue now. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Okay, gotta jump. Oh, shoot. Papyrus prepares a non-bone attack and spends a minute fixing his mistake. Spare. Try holding the up button to jump. Okay, oh, oh crap. Okay, we gotta jump higher. Higher! Smells like bones! What? I'm not thinking about the date thing. Okay, fine. Oh. Hold up longer to jump higher. Jeez. Yeah, you know what sucks right now? If I had the like... Okay. I lost my 30 HP. Papyrus whispers. <laughs> Shoot, 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 shoot. Ah! The virus is trying hard to play it cool. I can almost taste my future popularity. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Ah! The virus is rattling his bones. The virus, head of the royal guard! Oh. You eat one half the bicycle. Or physical. Papyrus! Unparalleled spaghetti tour! How many times I wonder if I have to spare him? Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. If I flip between that, that doesn't do anything, right? Fishwoman? Oh, I don't know what to do. No! This is bad! This is bad! I don't know how to do it. I have to use an item. Ah! Unicycle. That's bad. King will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. I, I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about this. It's tough. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Zone, or as Sans calls it, our garage. 
You're in the doghouse now. Oh, what does that mean even? I'm in the doghouse. That's what it means. Oh my gosh. It's a squeaky chew toy. It's a note from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Nayfully yours, Papyrus. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. It's too small to sleep on. Oh my gosh. What was that? I don't know. Oh no. Well, we, tr we tried to fight him. Apparently I didn't do it right. So... But I still have gold, so I'll go back, I'll buy some more. Um, you, know, you know, bicycles or whatever. Bicycles. Bicycles from this store, and so I'll be able to try to fight him again next time. If you have any advice for me, hint, hint, leave me a, leave me a hint in the comments before I start fighting next time. But, um, yeah, so... He didn't actually kill me, which was nice. And I believe I still have like, I believe I still have some gold, right? Yeah. All right, so I'll stop this episode here, then I'll go do some shopping, and then we'll try to defeat him again. Yeah, I was just double checking that there's nothing that I can give him, but I don't believe there's anything I can give him an item or anything. I think I just have to keep probably just talk, like keep sparing him and uh, just get through all his attacks I guess I'm guessing but anyway uh, it's super cute super cute super fun all right thank you guys for watching I hope you're enjoying Undertale as much as I am um, and we will be back I'll be back very very shortly and continue playing cuz I uh, you know we're gonna get through this game and hopefully my computer stays alive and it doesn't croak on me again and I can just keep keep filming and I won't have any interruptions from now on hopefully <clears throat> but anyway stay well stay happy and healthy and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video bye I'm gonna see if Kumari was out Kumari, Kumari. He's sleeping. <laughs>